Hey guys, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking. Today I'm going to be making a microwavable cookie. It's easy because you don't have to bake it, and it only makes one cookie. I gotta do that. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is the brown sugar. One tablespoon of packed brown sugar. You always want to pack brown sugar. Okay. Then you need one tablespoon of sugar. One quarter teaspoon of baking powder. One eighth teaspoon of salt. One quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Then finally for this section, you need two tablespoons of melted butter. And then, there you go. Now you just mix it all together. You need three tablespoons of flour. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Nice. Just gonna mix this up. Just getting my whisk. Maybe don't use a whisk. And then finally, you just need two tablespoons of chocolate chips. It's about one. So then I'm actually gonna put in a couple mini m and um, Those might go well. And then the recipe doesn't say to do this, but I'm just gonna. Okay, now, just mix it up one final time. Get those M&Ms incorporated. Okay, there you go. Now I'm just gonna put it in one of these dishes, sort of kind, the little ridges on the side. And then microwave it for 60 seconds. Make sure your dish is microwave safe too. That's important. Now I'm just gonna microwave it. Ooh, let's see how it tastes. Just by itself. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's done. There it is. I think a spoon is gonna be the best thing to eat this with. This is like a really big cookie. I was expecting it to be smaller. Okay, it's my first taste. It's not very good, but I think that might be because I had a bite with the M&M in it. I don't know if the M&Ms go well with it. I'm gonna try a bite with just the chocolate chips. It's very hot when it comes out. Dude, the chocolate chips are like 10 times hotter than the whole rest of the cookie. But I think the middle is actually kind of decent, maybe. <clears throat> it's the side part. It's touching the edge of the bowl. It's like really crunchy. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know, it's not too good. It's not too good. I think that I don't like it mainly because of the texture. Texture, it's a little bit crunchy. I think next time I'll try cooking it a little bit less than one minute. Yeah, man. It's like, it's like grainy almost. There's like little crunchies in it. Did I miss something? Is there like supposed to be an egg in there somewhere? 
Well, I guess that wraps up this episode. There's no egg or anything. They topped it with ice cream in the recipe. I bet that so, makes a big difference. Yeah, that might help. Um, yeah. I don't think I would recommend it. You could try it out, of course. But it's a shame. Thought it was gonna be really good. But I guess thanks for watching.